and then attach our cords. Um, but no, we do not sleep. <laughs> when did you go to sleep last night, B? Uh, like 1.30. 1.30 in the morning? Yeah, I went to sleep at like 2 or 2.30. Oh, and yeah, we were all up at like 6, 6.30 in the morning. Uh, we nap. Um, I have a question, please. I will try to answer. Um, <laughs> hello. Um, but yeah, we're getting ready to go in, you guys. Uh, it does look like we've got a little bit of waves out there. We have seen some whales. Uh, we are not going to deep dive. Um, we have our 50 foot cord with us and the cord that we have is what allows us to get internet underwater. So max depth we can go with that cord is probably about 45 to 47 feet. Um, as far as like deep dives go, um, how do you get the setup and how do you get signal underwater? Um, I do explain that on our page. If you go to our pinned videos, um, it is explained in a little bit more depth. Um, I think it's our second video is how we get internet underwater, but essentially our phone is in an underwater case and just on an iPhone on TikTok. We have a cord connected to the phone. Um, and on the other end of the cord, we have our, well, we have our reel here, which is how we are able to um, control the cord so it's not getting caught in anything or drag and stuff like that. We have our internet here on top of this buoy. So one end of the cord is connected to our internet, the other end of the cord is connected to the phone, and we drag that buoy with us the whole time we're diving. So we're able to do these mobile live dives. Um, hi, Punka. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Um, but it's a pretty easy setup with a lot of like little tiny nuances to it. Um, I do explain like each part a little bit better in our pinned video um, on our TikTok page. So just check out the pinned videos. Um, but yeah, we're using a Sea Life Sports Pro case, an iPhone, um, and then a bunch of stuff we created. All right, I'm going to hand the phone. Um, thank you, Lige. Um, doo -doo -doo. What am I missing? I'm going to hand the phone to you and I'm going to get my kit on. Love my favorite mermaid. Thank you, Punk. Are you afraid of sharks? Nope. Not scared of sharks. We liked the sharks. Nope. You got it? Okay. Alright. It's just. You got the arm on? Yes. Okay, guys, I might have to set you down for just a sec. look for some cool stuff. Sometimes we see manta rays, sometimes we see eagle rays, octopus. Usually we don't really see sharks here, but I have seen sharks here. I think I've seen like a couple like little reef sharks. Yeah. That's about it. I need assistance. You got it? We 
gonna go look for SpongeBob. Yes. <laughs> uh, we are in Hawaii. We're in Maui. So we're on the south shore of Maui, doing a dive today. We did one last night on the west side, and tonight or today is the my things. I can carry them. Um. Woo! So we have seen some whales out there. Um. We're gonna go out, look for some smaller stuff. You never know, it would be really cool any day to see dolphins or whales or sharks. <laughs> but mostly we're gonna be hanging out, listening to the whales. They were super loud here yesterday, so we're kind of hoping to get that same effect. Um, we only have about another month of listening to the whales sing. And I'm not reading all of your comments, you guys, um, just because this gear is really heavy. You can see our hands are kind of full. I will once we get in the water and I am like floating and stuff like that um so hello from wisconsin hello so we i think the first year we were doing this uh we were really good about telling you guys exact locations of where we were so our older followers kind of know these beaches now just by what they look like um did realize <laughs> we're probably not supposed to be doing that um and giving out exact locations so now i just kind of let everybody know we're on the south and the west side um a lot of the beaches we do dive are very special to the local community and the local Hawaiians. So it's cool that we're able to share them with you guys, but we also don't want to be disrespectful and just uh, letting the world know every time <laughs> the name of where we are and the coordinates. <laughs> Woo! This is so heavy. You alright, B? Uh, yeah, leg workout. It's good. These waves look Really fun, Bettina. Oh wait, my cord. And oh, we gotta stew it up here and set everything down. Yeah. What? Oh. Okay. Um, is it all sandy? Oh no. Who knew? Um, I'm a certified diver, I'll come with. <laughs> uh, no, we don't usually take people out, guys, just because I'm not an instructor, so I'm not allowed to teach you guys how to dive. Ready? Um, I'm gonna hold. Do we? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Um, and then I'm also really distracted while we're down there on this TikTok thing. We are not good dive <laughs> We are not good dive buddies. Uh, we're very hyper focused on looking for animals and these lives themselves. Uh, thanks for the follows. Um, location, we are in South Maui. Oh. Got it. Alright. You want me to carry my fins? Yeah, I got them. All right, so we are going to blow up our BCDs with air. It's these vest things we're wearing because they make us float. I have a feeling we're going to get into the water and immediately fall. Um, we are in Hawaii. Woo. These waves are uh, fun. Uh, but at this point, we're geared up. We're going out. We're, <laughs> we're doing it. wait for after this wave be. <laughs> that was very undramatic. It is really Hawaii. <laughs> um, the water is about 76 degrees right now underwater. So a little chilly. Um, I especially got used to like Mexico and the water was like 83, 84 degrees, 85 degrees some days. So, <laughs> this feels extra cold compared to that. Woo! Uh, we're on Maui. Yeah. Go, go, go. <sighs> Woo! Um. Woo! It is chilly. What things are we hoping to see today? A whale. We're always hoping to see a whale. Sharks. Uh, always hoping. We can't uh, oh, guarantee any wildlife. I can guarantee we'll see some fish. Uh, that's about it. But uh, we're always hoping to find octopus, eels, 
very common here and it is Turtle Thursday, so we are going to be hard looking. <laughs> Patina, tell me you saw it. Tell me you just saw me eat it. No, I didn't. I did not do that on purpose. That was so funny. It's like six, seven feet, not even. Uh, we like to drop right about where it's 10 feet. We've got some big waves down there. Um, woo. Had a great trip. Love you guys. Thank you. Uh, no, there are tiger sharks in this area, but I have not seen one yet. We used to come out here at like sunrise every day looking for them. Uh, <laughs> did not find any. They're here. Woo, we are just starting. One of the easiest ways to tell whether we're just starting or whether we're getting out. We are kicking. You can see Bettina on her back. She's laying back a little and kicking her legs. We always swim like that with our kids on. If I am facing the shore and you see us swimming, that means we're going out into the ocean. When we're done with the dive, this will typically be your view like this. This will be kicking back into shore. Uh, and that's, I don't mind answering too, but uh, that's just in case I don't answer you right away. That's kind of how you tell um, whether we're going in or out. Uh, today, we're only going to be going max depth of like 47 feet. Um, that line right there, that blue cord you see, that's our internet. And that cord's only 50 feet long. Whew. Man, I am Ooh, sore. Uh, uh, can't go under until they're in deeper water. Oh, Allison, it is so good to see you though. Yeah, you guys gotta wait for it. <laughs> At least you guys didn't have to like watch us set up all our gear and everything. But hello, hello. Do you have a calm mask today, you guys? You should be able to hear me all right, but I'm gonna try to focus on the whale song should be quite loud while we're down there that beeping you guys hear is our receiver unit that's my speaker it's how you guys can hear me talk to you it does not beep like that when we're underwater right now it's just letting me know it's it's wet um woo! all right how deep beep? hello <laughs> hi courtney okay Okay. Not very deep, but it's totally deep. You wanna drop? Alright, I gotta get my mask on. Uh while I get my mask on, do you just want to explain what it is? Yeah, we do see sharks. We saw sharks last night. They're my favorite. Alright. We saw sharks last night and then people reported us. <laughs> on TikTok for Saying we we're doing dangerous stuff. things. Sharks. I mean, they can be dangerous, but like most of the ones that we deal with are pretty, pretty small and aren't really interested in us. We're 
we're too big. They're not interested. It's all about mouse size. So Brittany has this uh, comms mask and um, it basically she can she can hear um, little things that cover her ears. Um, if someone else has a comms mask, like I have a comms mask too, but it's getting serviced right now. So when um, we're both, we both have them, then she can hear me and I can hear her. There's like a little microphone on it so she can push the button and talk, but it helps her to be able to communicate better with you guys and answer questions. Um, it is underwater <laughs> service on the comms mask, so uh, it, it's a little bit scratchy. You kind of have to listen a little bit more carefully. Um, she can't just talk like we're talking now. It's a little bit uh, shorter, um, quicker sentences. So no long explanations or anything, but yeah. You good? Okay. All right, what are you saying? She's ready.
Allison, that is what I'm looking for. <laughs> Can be found in the sea glass over here.
Yeah. 
most of it is venomous. So, um, not very sweet.
filter off. Parts are safe versus unsafe. Um, I don't know what that question entails, other than like we're pretty safe. <laughs> um, girl, you're gonna need lighter weight kayak than the last one, dude. Alice and that kayak was, that was brutal. Um, they do rent kayaks, so I will definitely look into renting one. I'd love to go see some whales before the season's over. Um, sorry guys, uh, actually I think like I just told you we were going to stay out for another 20 to 30 minutes but that current, there were yeah. some parts where I was like kicking really hard and not really going anywhere. Luckily we were at that point in time already like back on shore. Yeah, it's just a good time to get out. Watching from Ireland, that's so awesome. Hello. Um, is the sea salty? So salty. So salty, uh, but we did go really far out. It's crazy because when we were out there, you, the whales were so loud. You, oh, I see a whale actually. I just saw it spout. Uh, they're uh, so loud. Um, and then, like, right when we got into shore, uh, it just got like dead silent. Did you notice that? That, weird. that was really weird. I did not like it. You know, a lot of people say like the whale song can sound kind of eerie or creepy, but when there's no sound, it's just so nuts. Um, it's good for fish. <laughs> hi from Greece, Ohio. You guys are from everywhere. Hey guys. Uh, so we are going in. Uh, we are going to be diving tomorrow morning as well. Um, I'll talk to Bettina and we'll figure out what dive site to go to. No dives tonight. We're actually pretty tired. <laughs> this is our what? We've been diving a lot. I have no idea. Like, it looks like six or seven in the last couple days. Yeah. I am so so sore. Um, our deepest depth was, I don't know, did you see it? 38 feet. So I was a few feet under you. I think my deepest depth was like 38 feet. 
Um, we went really far out though, you guys. Like we were straight hard swimming out into the ocean. And that's just, it's so shallow out here in Maui. Um, and that's why the whales come here to have their babies. Um, yeah, the current was, uh, it was fine until it wasn't. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was I feel good. like that's how most like, of I feel like we did a pretty good job of swimming against the current. Yeah, so on the way so out, in, made it pretty, a little bit we made a conscious decision to swim against the current, so it was so much harder. Anyway. Yeah, much harder swimming out. That's why you can kind of hear me heavy breathing. And then on the way back in, we were able to get in so fast because we were swimming with the current. Um, and then once we got in, the current was uh, interesting. Um, yeah, we're in Maui. Uh, awesome! Hi, Aloha Brooks. Love from Missouri. So awesome. Uh, I don't have a dive schedule yet, you guys. I want one. But the problem is, um, uh, we all work. I have kids. And I don't, uh, we need two people to do this. So I'm not just like hanging out in my living room and doing lives. Um, so my schedule for these lives is really dependent on like when Bettina's free or when my buddy's free. Um, I do know we're diving tomorrow and Sunday night this week. We're taking Saturday off. I'll probably go live and say hi to you guys on Saturday though. Um, as far as a consistent dive schedule, we would like to do like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and some Sundays. Um, just because that... Yeah, I do too. Shoot. Okay. Whoa. Ever changing. Hi from South Dakota. Oh, but I do have two beautiful daughters who need me a lot. Um, and I try to spend every minute with them that I can when they're not in school. And then I am working as well. But we just haven't been sleeping. <laughs> I mean, Bettina is working. She's a mom. And we're just diving and doing these lives. So I don't think any of us have actually slept in a week. <laughs> Alright, we gotta try and get out while it's not big waves. Uh, should I unhook or are you good? Uh, hold on, wait for this wave. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry guys, let us get uh, out of the water. Oh, my tiny legs. No, no. Wait. Wait, Bettina, I can't. No, Ben, I can't step up this. Hold on. What? Okay. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, my tiny legs. It's like this little hill getting out of the water right there. And I am so short, you guys. It's so hard. <laughs> And yeah, I know, Bettina makes it look all easy. She walked right up it. I'm like, oh, okay. Thank you from Texas. So awesome. Hey guys, I'm all over. <sighs> but yeah, we'll be live tomorrow. We really want to find some turtles. I feel like we barely saw any this whole week. Whew. Saw more sharks than turtles, B. <laughs> I think so. <sighs> <laughs> get some sleep. I'm gonna go home and take a nap. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna go take a nap, pick up my girls from school, hang out with them. The new Avatar uh, Netflix came out, and <laughs> my kids and I are like really excited to watch that tonight. So we're gonna do pizza, movies, her Avatar. <laughs> it is so heavy. <sighs> so dry. We're carrying about 120 pounds. Wet. wet. I don't even. It's wet. It's a lot. It's a lot. Being for I want to dive in Egypt. Let me unplug your Okay. Thank you. Let's catch our breath. <laughs> Thank you. So. Just like the BC. I can do it.
<laughs> my fingers are. stuff so we've done so many dives the past couple of days but like i swear my whole body just like hurts <laughs> so bad. Get your off. Uh, i would love to kayak um i don't have a kayak any longer um so i do have to go rent one and look into that um and i'm pretty sure they're like 60 or 70 bucks but i would love to try and get out on a kayak this week a couple of people out there right now while the swells are nice and the weather's nice it's a good hurt though it is i mean we're sore but we're happy about it we're diving and it's an all over nice little body hurt we definitely leave our dive sites after these lives and we are like happy happy <laughs> good <laughs> endorphins going all the good endorphins <sighs> get some of this weight off so nice yeah. oh oh you got it, I get it? <laughs> oh. ah! no nope. I did not get it okay okay all right all right oh, oh it is cold well it's like it's mainly just cold because we're just got out and we're like in our wetsuits it makes it really it keeps you warm in the water it does not keep you warm on land when it's wet <laughs> yeah uh, yep all right sausage uh like the tips on equalizing hands free uh uh, I do not speak Spanish. Um, does the suit protect from jellies? Yes, it does. And I will get into equalizing in just a minute. No, I'm so sorry, Mal. We just finished, but we are going to do another live tomorrow. Um, I'll probably switch it up and do a new spot. Um, the suit does protect us from jellies, but it's one of the main reasons we wear them too, is to stay warm and it's also a protectant for our skin. As far as equalizing, hands-free, very doable. I do not use my hands to equalize. I'm Mexican, that's awesome. We just uh, got back from Mexico a few months ago. Um, I use a full face mask, definitely a pricier option. You don't have to get the whole electronic comms set up where you talk, you can actually just get a full face mask. Um, in this case, you can regulate and I mean equalize your ears hands-free. There's this uh, little nose plate in here. It sits directly under your nose. So whenever you want to equalize, uh, I just kind of blow, which makes it really cool for these lives because my hands are kind of full while we're down there, especially with like the phone and live stream set up. So, you know, uh, with the live stream set up. So it's really cool being able to equalize without my hands. Plus, when you wear a full face mask like that, it can fit so much air in here. If you guys didn't know, your buoyancy is even affected by like the air in your lungs. So that mask has a lot of air in it. When I am breathing and talking, it is affecting my buoyancy, which is me going up and down pretty much. Um, I'm so used to using that mask that with a regular setup, when I don't wear it and I have a regular mask on and regulator, my buoyancy control is so far off. Um, I'm used to taking a little bit more of a breath when I want to go up and then when I want to sink back down I actually just talk to you guys so when you hear me rambling underwater two or three sentences it's usually me trying to sink down and use up all the air in the mask so it's really interesting how different it is but hello from France hello hello hi from Chicago everybody's here you guys are all over um so we are gonna go clean up gear um Kind of put everything away, chill for the rest of the night. It's actually hard for me to even like hold my arms up right now. I'm so <laughs> sore. Oh, <laughs> it's so funny. But that's what we get for uh, not diving. 
um, uh, for the past few months. Um, and it really has been about a year since we've been consistently diving. Kara left almost a year ago and since then been all over the place. <laughs> uh, I mean, we're kind of brave. Um, I have really bad anxiety, you guys. Very anxious person. I actually have a hard time even just driving uh, cars. <laughs> so um, you're definitely talking to the right girl if you have anxieties. Um, and I feel so good and so at home in the ocean. Um, hi from, oh, I want to go to Scotland so bad. You guys have all those basking sharks there too. I'm going to take a look over here and see if we can see any whales before we go. Uh, yes, we're back in Maui. Uh, we are planning some happen this year and different things. Uh, a lot of personal stuff and happen this year and different things. Uh, a lot of personal stuff and... I mean, even just stuff on TikTok. So uh, we're back here for the foreseeable future. Um, I would love to get some traveling in with you guys in the next few months um, and do more dives around the world. Um, but for right now, we've just kind of been getting settled back into being here uh, unexpectedly. The reefs were affected by the fires, Ocean Lover. Um, the West Side reefs were heavily affected. Um, keep in mind that the fires not only uh, put a lot of soot and ash into the water, a lot, um, but a lot of chemicals and a lot of uh, uh, materials that are not supposed to be burned, burned down in that fire and ran right off into the ocean. So there were weeks and weeks where even at Mala, which is one of the most um, life-filled little reefs here on Maui, uh, it was just empty. No sharks, no turtles, no fish. Um, very toxic waters, very toxic environment, um, and they're still cleaning up um, uh, the Lahaina area that is going to take a very, very long time. So there still is chemical runoff. It's very unfortunate, very unfortunate. I mean, what just happened to Maui in general, and it was a huge event and a huge tragedy, um, and it has not only affected all of the people here on land, animals, homes, livelihoods, um, but it is affecting our oceans as well. Um, very, very sad, I know. Um, and good questions, you guys. It's good to be educated on this kind of stuff. So thank you so much for always asking such good questions. We try to answer them as best we can. Um, I don't see any whales out here right now. I could hear them. It's crazy though, how they were so loud and then they just disappeared. Um, do I work remotely? And what island are you on? So we're on Maui. Uh, no, and I work here on island um, currently. Um, again, I think I've been saying this for like two years. We'd love to get it to where social media was helping uh, and making money. There's a whale, there's a whale. It's kind of far out, but it's right out there. Um, so we can kind of focus on this a little bit more, but we'll see. Get some dives in. We have a lot of fun just diving with you guys um, and getting you out. Um, Cindy, great question. Um, I'm from the south side, which is over here. Um, the fires happened on the other side. So if you guys drive along the south shore, do to do to do, this is the west side of the island, keep going. And then around the bend there is the west side. So I live on this side of the island. Generally, when the fires happened, I was in Mexico and I was in Mexico for a couple of months after that. So my family was heavily affected. We got a lot of donations in via TikTok and donated all of the money we were making at the time. A lot of it went to Bettina, who was here on island and helping with the relief effort. So she was distributing your donations and buying supplies. Um, she had a lot of people from the west side living with her, sleeping on her couch in her living room. Um, so Bettina is seriously just an angel. She was a goddess. Uh, she was helping out so many people right when that happened. Um, but she's amazing. So... Yeah, thank you guys so much. I know a lot of people donated. Uh, Hope, have we seen the whales while diving or just hear them? Uh, generally, when diving, we're too shallow. Um, we kind of hang out along this reef. Um, you see this point right over here. We kind of hang out in this little area, boop. The whales don't usually come in that close. On days like today, we swam way out. I think you guys can see the boat right there. We actually went much further than even that boat. Uh, no, I have not seen a whale while diving. 
and I've only seen them while kayaking. The other big problem is um, visibility is so low. Even on a good day, we can really only see about 100 feet. Today was pretty good, um, and I could see about 50 feet in front of me. So keep in mind, there could have been whales 70 feet away from me, and I wouldn't have known that they were that close. So we generally don't see them while diving. Um, I've never seen one while diving, but we do see them kayaking. I'm sorry, Hope. Oh no. Uh, I was not born in Hawaii. I was born in California. I moved here as a child um, and then spent my whole childhood actually in Lahaina. My school, King Cam, burned down in the fires. So I grew up in Lahaina on the west side of the island. And then I moved to New Hampshire in New England for high school. And then right after high school, I moved right back to Hawaii. So uh, my family's on Oahu. Oahu is crazy um <laughs> and what's the deepest you go while diving no whales we're always hoping i mean it's gonna happen with how much time we spend in the ocean we just got to get into that deeper water um and the deepest i've ever gone is 130 feet on these live streams we can go up to i'm just looking for whales i'm sorry guys that's why we're staring at the ocean um on our deepest dives for the live streams, we can go 120 feet, and we have done that. Um, there's a whale out there, but it's kind of far. Uh, when we're doing our lives, though, most of the time, we're staying at about 30 feet, and that's because we want to be um, in that shallower water to make the lives last longer and to stay underwater, maximize our time down there. Uh, the deeper you go, the less air you have is you know the rule of thumb um <laughs> brooke i would love to take you guys kayaking if i do get a kayak in the next week or so i will just take i will go live you know me i'll take you guys with me um i did get rid of all my kayaks when i went to mexico i do have to rent them and play tourist if i want to go kayaking so i'll look into that for this week um and replace one of our dive days with a kayak day on our least windiest day um, I'd love to get you guys out to spend some time with the whales. They're very curious. A lot of times they do come right up to the kayaks um, and they have their babies. Um, uh, sister, hi Casey. Um, but yeah, I'll look into that and then maybe Monday or Tuesday I'll get you guys out kayaking. I really need to get out and kayak. I used to kayak every day um, when the whales are here and we only have about a month left for the whales. <laughs> Thank you so much, Hope. No, it's okay. I actually like got rid of everything when we went to Mexico. I owned nothing but my dive gear and a suitcase. Same with my children. So when we came back, we essentially had to start like all over. Uh, thankfully, again, I spent my whole life here. So we had a lot of people just kind of helping me out, like giving me furniture and stuff. And uh, it's a really amazing community. So it was kind of cool. Um, but I did have to like get a new house and I have a tiny little apartment now. Um, it's a whole situation. Oh my gosh, diving in Turkey would be amazing. I know even Casey's like, get on the kayak. Um, I used to do kayak adventures and I didn't have like a following or anything. Just for my friends, I would make videos of my day and post them on Facebook. That's how I kind of got started in like TikTok and social media. Um, so... Yeah, I'll get you guys out, though. I need to go see the whales. It's kind of drizzling on us right now. Uh, tomorrow's dive is going to be in the morning at the same time. We'll be live at about 9.30 in the morning. Um, I will make an event. I'm so sorry. We were going to try and go live on Twitch, but I don't really know how to use Twitch yet. So I'll figure them out. Uh, when they breach like that, it is insane. They're absolutely stunning. It's one of the coolest experiences in the world is to be out there on the water and have them just jump right next to you. Um, <laughs> uh, no orcas. Orcas are transient and not really found in Hawaii. Our water is too shallow and too warm for them. Sometimes they do pass through about once a year. You'll hear somebody spotting, I hear of somebody spotting orcas. Um, it was really was, I got a video. That is an experience. Um, my children are 10 years old and seven years old. I have two little girls and they're like the coolest little people ever. Uh, they have been out on lots of kayaking adventures with me. My 10 year old's just now testing the waters as far as diving. Uh, she loves creating content and stuff like that. 
So they're both very comfortable in the ocean and swimming and with sea creatures. My oldest loves sharks, loves snorkeling Mala. Um, they're really great little adventurous humans. So I absolutely love them. Obviously, I'm their mom, but uh, they're really cool people, little girls. Uh, the biggest shark I've personally ever seen um, underwater is not that big, maybe like 10 feet. Uh, not big. We've tried. Trust me, I've tried. I went to the Big Island and there's a harbor that's known for its tiger sharks. And I swear I was doing like three dives a day there, just hanging out in that harbor, hoping to see a big old tiger shark. Um, I've seen big animals in the water. I've seen big whales, big dolphins, big monk seals, but no very large sharks. Um, yeah, the sand's black. <laughs> uh, do you have any fears uh, of the water? Not really, other than the ocean itself. Um, I don't even think I'm necessarily scared of it. Um, I think we're very weary, very careful, very conscious that the ocean is extremely dangerous and we need to handle ourselves respectfully, appropriately, and consciously. Um, other than that, I'm pretty scared of turtles. Uh, Kara just left this morning. Um, she'll be back in like two months. So she's coming back for a good part of the summer and she'll be diving with us. Um, she has some family things going on as well that she is dealing with on the mainland. It's so nice. Um, <laughs> uh, I've been diving for like four years. Before that, I did spend a couple of years kayaking, like 10 miles a day. Uh, that's what got me obsessed with the ocean. Um, I used to be really scared of the ocean, even though I grew up here. Like, very scared of all the animals, of the ocean, of deep water. Um, up until a few years ago, I had, like, quit drinking, sobered up, and I was like, oh, this is so boring. Um, <laughs> I need to do something, and I went and bought a kayak and started kayaking and spending all my time with the whales. Um, which is amazing, incredible. And then the whales left and I got bored again. I wrote a few books. Uh, I wrote uh, some fantasy and sci-fi and stuff like that uh, and published books and novels. And the winter came around again, kayaked a whole bunch and that winter ended and I was bored again. And I'm like, wait, there's this whole underwater world I could be in. Started scuba diving. Um, and yeah, was underwater scuba diving and on TikTok one day later that night and Wondered why there were no underwater live streams. And we did that. <laughs> um, why am I scared of turtles? If you've been watching these streams for a while now, you know they have a tendency. I don't know what it is. I have no idea if it's like my voice underwater or what, but I attract a lot of animals, like a lot. Like when the manta rays are around, they're very interested in me. Sharks are very interested in me and the turtles are very interested. And at night they kind of like ram into my camera really hard. So I get kind of scared <laughs> when I see a turtle at night. I shut my light off. You always hear me on the live like, oh God, <laughs> when I see a turtle. Because uh, they're heavy. They'll like ram into you. Um, just me. Just me, not you guys. Um, <laughs> and I don't, it's so funny. We are diving tomorrow. Um, I remember the worms in Mexico. I did not like those. They were like in my ears and in my hair. Oh my gosh. And following me around. <laughs> Um, the worms were not fun. We're not going to dive tonight, you guys. Um, we are going to dive tomorrow morning and our next night dive is going to be Sunday night. So I'll get those events posted for you so you can uh, be notified and keep an eye on when those dives are going to be. Well, we do have two more dives for this week and we'll have a few dives for next week as well. And we're going to try and stay consistent as far as getting like two or three day dives in a week for you guys and like one or two night dives a week as well. Um, we own all of our own gear, so we do. Diving's very expensive initially. Once you get certified and buy your gear, it is a lot cheaper. Um, I think a week of diving like this in air, we spend about 50 to $75. Um, it's really the live streaming equipment that's what's costing us money. So it's like the Wi-Fi daily, to do these lives with you guys and buying the gigabytes and the cords and the equipment and the stuff we kind of blow through very quickly. Um, what time tomorrow? It will be the same time tomorrow. Um, it will be live at about 9.30 in the morning Hawaii time. 
and I am gonna try to talk Bettina into going to Mala. I really wanna go check out. We haven't seen sea turtles in like days and days, so we gotta go find you guys some turtles. Um, oh, no hope, you're fine. Um, we actually didn't go live for about two months um, between like being sick and again, a lot of personal stuff going on. We weren't able to get in the water and then when all that kind of blew over, we had about five or six weeks of undiveable water here in Hawaii. We had big swells, lots of flooding and rain and it was just so crazy. Um, last night was the first time since the whales started to return. No, you're right, Hope. You didn't miss anything, you're fine. Um, I've been going through a lot personally and just dealing with so many different things, Kara as well. And then same with Bettina, we all got hit with just like a train wreck of things. Um, <laughs> so we did take a couple months off. And I mean, honestly, we've taken about a year off, uh, about eight months in general, kind of on and off doing the page. I think we've all found a lot more time to dive and hang out with you guys. Um, I'm gonna get you out there, be more consistent. I know how, if we missed being in the water, I know you guys did too. Um, so we'll, Keep you guys busy, get you guys under the water. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh, the next dive in UK time. Um, so I don't know the time zone different. It's, I think it's like, ooh, like 10 hour time difference or so. It'll be at night for you. Um, when I post the events, um, I don't know if he's still diving. Uh, I'm not with Lance. <laughs> um, thank you so much. We're back. Uh, when I post the events on TikTok, uh, it should adjust for your time zone. So when I get in the car in a minute, I'll make an event for tomorrow. So when you check it, for me, it's going to say 930 in the morning. For you, it should say what time the live is going to be in your time zone. Um, but I'm really sorry. I'm not very good with the time zones. We don't have daylight savings here too. So I know the mainland does that and I never know like what the hour difference is. So yeah, okay, I think we're gonna get going. We're tired. Um, <laughs> we've gotten a lot of dives in. So not only were we doing the lives with you guys, um, but we did a, lot, a few other dives as well because Kara was here 10 days and I think six or seven of those days were undiveable. So the first few days she was here, we were just stuck in my house. Uh, and as soon as we could dive, we've just been in the water nonstop. <laughs> um, no dives tonight, just tomorrow morning and Sunday night. So I'll make events for those so you guys don't miss them. There's... <laughs> Tina, are you okay? Here, I have to get my wetsuit off if you want to start nice. saying <laughs> goodbye to everybody. Yeah, thank you guys so much for joining oh, us and for coming along with us. Yes, I do. They are not short people reachable. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> it's drizzling. Ooh, I know. I'm like, oh, I'm cold. Let's go rinse gear and get on I warm clothes. I was out there standing over there talking for so long looking for whales. And I didn't, I saw like some spouts way out there, but no. Yeah, no, I have it. I've been kind of like looking out for them too, but I haven't really seen any. <laughs> they were just like, peace out. <laughs> they love them. They're out. <sighs> but, no, thank you guys so much for joining us we're gonna go clean gear and go get warm uh <laughs> until tomorrow morning when we get cold again but you guys can come and uh hang out with us tomorrow morning when we go dive yeah. we'll decide where we're going i don't know where else is good on this side uh, white rock is it have service problem is service <laughs> i was like, like is there, is white, uh, you there's know this, a lot of great dives like, yeah there is a lot of great dives there's we just, go to the same like five sites because that's where the service is. We need that's service that's for legit. The live like, stream. there's so many cool sites that we can't go to because, uh, because that's where the service is. We need that's service that's legit. For the live like, stream. there's so many cool sites that we can't go to because uh, they just. Oh, hey, Britt, you want to settle with the, the other ones? Um, yeah, no, they get they definitely get water in over the. Sometimes they drain. We try not to, you know over equalize and blow out our ear, eardrops it's not not good right. well i think we answered lots of questions yeah. um can we go to the shark place <laughs> yeah, let's like we'll show go, us the sharks we'll yeah uh we'll check conditions in the morning and i think 
we haven't been in during the day in a hot minute, so we'll probably try and go to um, Mala tomorrow. Like I was saying, the whole week I was like talking about showing you some sea turtles and finding our sea turtle friends. And there's like no sea turtles. No sea turtles. Uh, so we'll go it's check weird. out Mala and see what Very we can weird. find. Uh, thank you so much. <laughs> uh, yes, it was a long dive, but we're going to get going, guys. Bye, guys. Uh, we're nice and sleepy. <laughs> we got to still go clean gear and put all the gear away and go charge everything. <laughs> yeah, and then I got to go pick my kids up in a little bit. So all I right. still got a mom all day. Look how um, tall you look. You look taller than me. <laughs> okay, but uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. I'll get in the car right now and make some events so you can uh, check out what time zone they're in. And yeah, thanks for coming along on another thanks, dive guys. with us. We'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye, guys.